this is a recent residential loader build that uh, I have made and I wanted to show it to you I'm going to concentrate mostly on the electrical part of it but here's a quick overview of the structural components of the loader and then we'll look at the electrical part in a minute so you can see that the frame how it attaches to the frame here the metal is somewhat beefy for this size loader I used anything from quarter inch down to one eighth inch wall depending on the application you see the anchor points to the tractor both on the rear part of the frame and towards the front of the frame Of course, the same on the other side. Made sure it had wheel clearance. You can see the attaching point on the other side. And some bracing to give support to the top bar, which would be bearing some weight there in regards to controlling the bucket. The bucket is 42 inches long by about 12 inches deep. Uh, you'll see here in a minute how it was constructed. 1 8th, excuse me, 1 16th inch steel and uh, was reinforced with uh, 1 8th inch and quarter inch steel. And there it is picking up a uh, pretty good size load of dirt. Now here's a quick overview of the electrical components. We're going to take an in-depth look at the electrical wiring and components in a minute. But here's just a brief overview. So here I have mounted two battery docks for tool batteries, 24 volt and 20 volt. I can alternate because it's parallel. Just as long as I don't put both batteries in at the same time, it'll work on either one. And of course the actuator, that's a 10 inch actuator, 12 volt uh, for the lift arms and another one on the other side. And so I've got a solenoid that controls that. And of course the actuator that controls the bucket, the turning and twisting of the bucket. Uh, that too is controlled by a solenoid relay. Just to go around to the other side. Again, another actuator. We want to take a look at the joystick a little bit here. This joystick is a four position joystick. And the way I have it wired is when you pull back on it, it lifts the arms in the front. When I push forward, it lowers the arms. In other words, I'm lowering the overall bucket down to the ground. When I push it out away from the steering wheel, that twists the bucket up or pivots the bucket up. And when I turn it towards the steering wheel, it empties the bucket, it lowers the bucket, twists it down. Now I also made this so that this was adjustable as far as the height, so I could get a real precise height comfortable uh, for me. So it's mounted there to the uh, floor panel, but it comes up and that clamp will release and will allow me to slide that cylinder in and out giving me height making it lower or higher. And there's the solenoids. These uh, solenoid relays are winch solenoid relays and I use them because you want instantaneous reversal of polarity and uh, the other types of solenoids such as the automotive type 
do not work as well as these do. The, these are flawless in their operation. Now we've got a switch to turn on or off the battery power that is the 24 volts going to out to the uh, solenoids out to the actuators. And I use the ignition switch or in other words the 12 volt tractor battery that power and turn the ignition switch to the on position provides power to the joystick switch and then that goes down to the relays and thus changes polarity on the relay sending the power out to the actuator in the direction that I want it to go And here's a quick look underneath, looking at the joystick. One thing I like about this joystick is that the switching portion of it is clear plastic. And you can see the, how the actual switch works. Now a more detailed look at the electrical system, but first we want to look at some components. Of course that switch again, this is simply an on-off toggle switch that can handle at least 15 amps. A 20 or 30 amp switch would be even better. Now the dock that the tool battery slides into. This one is for the 24 volt. Uh, you can get them in 20 volt, 18 volts, so on. So just try typing this in, uh, whatever you have, whatever brand you have. Try typing in this uh, four position, four normally open spring return momentary joystick switch. T type that into your search and probably you'll come up with a uh, joystick like this. Winch motor reversing solenoid relay switched. And of course you gotta have actuators. I have uh, on this build I have one 12 inch uh, manipulating the bucket. I have two 10 inch lifting the arms. And the wiring here is a schematic showing how it's wired. Uh, looking at the top portion where we're using the tractor battery, goes through the ignition switch. Of course, it's fused, goes out to the joystick and provides power. Now, take note that the joystick is wired all together on one side of it. One half of it is, is totally joined together so that you have power ready on each you don't have to wire each and every terminal uh, but you have power that's ready to go to the opposite side of the joystick to whatever direction you want the bucket to work if you understand that <laughs> now here again the winch relay is far superior to the automotive relays that I've tried to use some of these relays for automotive, they, there's a delay of about one second before they release. 
and when you're using the joystick you want it to instantaneously go from one polarity to the other and the winch relay does an excellent job at this. Now going back to the wiring for the 24 volt portion of it you can see it goes through the toggle switch to turn it on and off you have the fuse uh, you've got power going out to the terminals on the solenoid relays that center tops uh, terminal you've got the power that's distributed from that point out to the actuators and these solenoids will reverse polarity automatically it does a beautiful job the purple uh, wiring showing you can use any color wire you want I just did this to show that you've got some choices here to make because depending on how you want that joystick to work is going to depend on what terminal goes where. So you, you might do some experimenting to see and just switch the terminals around, the wiring to the terminals, uh, and you'll get it. But here, again, the solenoid, uh, you can see how they're to be used. 12 volts going to those small terminals on the front. The main terminal on the front is to ground the top terminals are 24 volts or less they go to the actuators and the center terminal is providing the power from the battery so hopefully this is helpful to you if you want to do some of this yourself uh, for your own tractor and uh, uh, we hope you'll click the like button and if you want to see more please subscribe thank you so much